morning, everybody. Uh, 12 to 8, live across Melbourne. This is KISS 1011. Doing a thanks to Kangan Institute. Uh, tops of 23 and coming up just after 8 o'clock. Uh, my four-year-old Huddy has some questions for Auntie PJ. <sighs> Just, I just, I'm nervous. There, there I go for the next 10 minutes. I'm going to be stressing out. I would be too. <laughs> Interest rates have been cut. Property prices shoot higher. Prices nationally continue to surge. Dow Jones down over 2,000 points. Soaring property prices. Money. Well, I'll tell you what, um, coronavirus is just killing the economy at the I moment, know. isn't it? And they think it's just going to get worse. Yeah. Uh, so stocks are just going through the floor. However, interest rates are low, mm. and they're saying now is the time to buy. Oh, but is it? And it's easy. People to- always say this every now and then, and I'm like, I don't know. I'm so indecisive when it comes to buying a house. It's also easier said than done as well. Mm. You know what I mean? Saving for a deposit is bloody tough. Yeah. Uh, so rather than getting on like a financial expert, we want to introduce you to this guy. He's 25 years old. His name's Eddie. Uh, he lives in Sydney. Eddie, thanks for being on the show. Tell everyone how many properties you own, mate. Hi, guys. I've got uh, 20 properties in my portfolio at the moment. How's that? You have 20 properties. Whereabouts, Eddie? Are they all in one one place? Or we all have over one, the Eddie. You're not going to miss one. <laughs> Chuck is a property. <laughs> um, well, they're diversified across different states. So, like, I um, live in Sydney at the moment. I've got properties in Sydney, like Western Sydney, also Brisbane, uh, Gold Coast, Adelaide, even Cairns. Um, and I'm soon going to be buying properties in Melbourne as well and, yeah, diversifying other states too. Well, mate, first up, congratulations. That's amazing, Eddie. Yeah, because you got your life together quick smart um, where we got to 30 and thought we should start. <laughs> um, yeah. uh, I'll be honest, though, when people hear this, they go, I'm never going to be able to do that. Uh, what's your reaction? Oh, it's definitely possible. Like, if I can do it, anyone can do it. It sounds cliche, but, like, I started and my, no one in my family owned a property at all. There yeah. mine. So, like, I grew up in a like, housing commission. No one even, like, my single mother on a pension as well. So, no one even had a job for that matter. Um, there, there's so many different ways to get started. Like, I think there's a lot of misinformation uh, out there about, you know, real estate, finance, you know, how to go about it. They don't really mm. teach it in school, do they? But, no. you know, it's just learning it the hard way. And, um, yeah, I, I've, I've done that. But getting started, like, I would definitely recommend people who's looking to do it now, just get started with a small deposit. Yes, you're going to pay lenders mortgage insurance, but it's going to get your foot in the door and the compound effect is massive. That's a bloody good point, actually. Teach this uh, in schools. I know. It's, it's honestly finance and like how to buy a house should be subject. Because I'm not taking the piss here, but I, I to this day, have never used a Bunsen burner <laughs> out in the workplace. Or trigonometry. Yet, yet, you know, they made me sit through hours of that bloody yeah. thing. I'd rather learn about real estate. Um, you mentioned before mortgage 100%. insurance. Uh, I know a lot of people freak out when they hear mortgage insurance and they think that they need to save up 20% deposit. Um, you're saying don't be scared by it? 100%. It's, 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 if anything, is there to help you. So, like, as, as an example, um, like, I've done, bear in mind, I've done 10%, I've done 20% deposits, I've done both. I'm not speaking from one side of the track that hasn't done the other. Yeah. Um, but, but my first one, as an example, was a 10% deposit. And let's say you buy a property, you know, the lenders mortgage insurance, everyone says, oh, that's so expensive. It's not that expensive. It depends on the purchase price of the property. There's a calculator on there that anyone can find online. Your total deposit might be 55k as an example for a five hundred thousand dollar deposit, um, but you're not having to you know wait an extra maybe two years, three years. The market could have jumped up in a hundred, two hundred k by then, and then you've got to pay more. That's the key. It's getting you in early. Um, what's the biggest mistake you think people make? Um, letting it go too long, not getting their foot in the door, and, and trying to go too big too soon. You know, like my, I, I didn't go to the million dollar property right away. And you, if you're getting started, you could, even if you're living, you know, you're someone that, you know, whether you're 20 or 30 or 40 or 50, like it's fine to get started small. You don't have to go, you know, to the right to the top of the market and buy something for a million dollars. You can start off with something smaller. Let's say you buy something for $300,000, maybe it's a little bit further out. You can get in with a 5% deposit. 5% of 300K is 15K. Can you like do 5% if, if, deposit? But you just got to pay mortgage 100%. insurance. Mm. No, 5%, pay, well, Eddie. 5%. You, five, you can do 5%. <laughs> Some lenders out there will capitalise the lender's mortgage insurance on the loan. So that sometimes in that case, it won't even come out of your pocket. So if someone can come out with 15K, like I'm sure people can come up with that. I, I worked at McDonald's and I saved uh, 15K after 
year and a half, etc., two hundred dollars a week. So you know, the thing is, it. you know what I reckon's holding people back though, and that's sacrifice. Because the problem is, you know, when you start renting, especially if you're living with friends mm. and stuff like that, you get some pretty be, cool pads, exactly. And then when it's time to buy, you need to be realistic, and you're not going to be able to afford the places that you're renting. Hundred percent. There's a lot of. I think there's a bit of a lot of delayed gratification. Like one of the things I did behind the scenes was I didn't buy the fancy car, the flashy car, the fancy clothes. I, I waited a very, very long time before I did that. Like I had like eight properties and I was driving around a crawler. So yeah. like, you know, it didn't really matter to me. I know this is a really naive perspective, but I think the thing that always puts me off it's like, oh, well, you're going to be constantly borrowing and you're always going to be paying back. No one can really save their way to a better lifestyle and create wealth. It's got to be done through investing, whether it's in property shares or whatever it is. But you got to get that money to work for you. A lot of people just want to have X amount in the bank as a safety buffer, but that's the whole thing of, you know, to, to reach the next level, it's just the same as going to the gym. You've got to get out of your comfort zone and mm. sometimes push yourself a bit, but start small. Hey, Eddie, uh, what do you think the number one thing in a house uh, that drives up the oh, value? Yes. You know, if people are doing a reno job or they're looking to buy property, what, what's the one thing that makes it valuable? Wardrobe. Um, there's a combination of things. I think land would probably be the, the biggest one, um, but of course, other internal, you know, co- cosmetic stuff like your kitchen, your bathroom, the better that kind of stuff is, the more it's going to push up the price, hundred percent. Yeah, right. And um, yeah. the kitchen does turn me on. Okay. What, sorry? Uh, you- oh, no, sorry. I just, I really <laughs> like. A, sorry, I just really like a good kitchen. A, a specific appliance? No, no, no. Just, there's right? just something. You're right. Like I feel like a kitchen is a. Oh, yeah. Defining feature. 100%. I agree. Don't think I'm going to see you on million dollar listing anytime soon. Um, Eddie, congratulations. Honestly, 26 years old, a huge property portfolio, 20 houses. Good on you, mate. Like, honestly, it's well actually done. inspiring, Eddie. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks so much, guys. It was great being here. See you, mate. You won't get that on the finance report, <laughs> will you? You never see Ross Greenwood going, let me tell you about a blender I like. Oh, come on. You know what I mean. When you find yeah. a good kitchen, it's just yeah, so satisfying. Yeah, yeah, he knows what you mean, too. That's why he's never <laughs> returning to the show. It's Jason Peter.